You're welcome back. You're still watching Plus Politics on Plus TV Africa. The presidency has chided the main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, over its comment on the economic situation in the country, accusing the party of plotting to destabilize Nigeria. The presidency also said that Nigerians are not ready for another PDP misrule, not now and perhaps not for a long time to come. The presidency was reacting to the statement issued by the People's Democratic Party through its National Publicity Secretary, Debo Ologun Nagba, where it accused the President Muhammad Buhari and its, his All Progressives Congress of abdicating its duties amid hardship being passed through by Nigerians. Uh, joining us to discuss this, we have uh, two Gentlemen, uh, Demeji Fabi, a member of the People's Democratic Party who has been accused of plotting to destabilize Nigeria. And we ask him about that. And Shegun Chopiton, he is a political analyst. Gentlemen, welcome to Plus TV Politics. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. All right, let's tell you, Demeji, um, what, 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 what is the People's Democratic Party saying about the situation of things in the country? Because we read somewhere some days ago that they were talking about a violent uprising, you know, similar to NSARS. Thank you very much. Uh, PDP is just playing its role as an opposition, and um, they're just saying it as it is. Um, it's, not, it's no more news. Uh, the, 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 the situation the country has you know, presently found itself under the leadership of the APC. So PDP is only calling the attention of Nigerians to it, which doesn't necessarily mean that they are calling for uprising or anything. All over the world, in even advanced democracies, the opposition parties, as it were, will look at issues, look at the current situation in the country, and then make a statement as a kind of a warning to the, to the government to to come, I mean, to up their game and uh, rise in the defense and in, in, in the favor of the citizens of the country. For APC to have said that uh, PDP is trying to destabilize Nigeria is not only uncharitable, it is equally very, very ridiculous. Uh, Nigerians <clears throat> are wise enough to know what the situation in the country are. Is it in the area of, of security? Is it economy? Uh, very recently, um, APC had become a problem not only to itself, but to the generality of Nigerians. So as far as I know, the PDP is only saying it as it is. They're just calling the attention of Nigerians and the government in power to please do something about the plight of Nigerians. This is not a better deal. This is not a good time for the citizens of this country under the leadership of the APC at all. Look at our debt profile, for instance. In, uh, at the end of 2020, 2021, our debt profile has been to about 39.9 trillion. Now when you look at the budget for 2022, uh, there's, there was this, there's this deficit of about six point something. It means that at the end of this year, uh, that profile would have reached about 45 trillion. Where did, that's not added. Where do we take that? It means that the next president that is coming, you know, to take over the leadership of this country will have a lot of work to do. We must bring in what serious ingenuity to be able to get Nigeria back back on track and help Nigerian citizens to feel, I mean, I mean the, 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 the the benefit of a good governance. So that's what PDP is trying to say. PDP shares in the pains of Nigeria. PDP is sharing because all of us go to the same markets and all of us know what's up. Look at aviation fuel, for instance. Look at our petroleum pump price, about between 400 to 500 naira in some places. Look at aviation fuel, about 700 naira per liter. This is unacceptable. And this is exactly what PDP is talking about. We shouldn't deceive ourselves. This government of APC has failed Nigerians. They even failed themselves too. So rising, uh, defending what is not defendable is most unfortunate on behalf or on the part of, uh, of uh, the APC. PDP is only saying it as it is and being on the, on the, on the side of Nigeria as they've always been. And that's why we are telling them that Nigerians, look, you need a better deal. Uh, this guy, you have tested them. You have tested two wives. In the 16 year rule of PDP, we knew what they did, the records are there. It may not be perfect, but it's not as what we're, what we're facing under the leadership of inept government of APC. All right. So, my brother, All right. Nigerians know right. better. And okay. nobody needs to spur them into crisis or agitation. They okay. know what to do. Okay, fantastic. Um, uh, Shegu Shopiton, well, what's your take on, on what he, uh, the major and indeed the PDP, are saying about uh, the situation of things and uh, a violent uprising if things don't change? Um... Well, so I think the first thing that we 
we must know, especially those of us that are not um, necessarily partisan, is that um, there's a lot of politicking going on, um, and we're approaching elections. <laughs> so, so you're gonna you you get a lot of this um, going forward over the next um, 12 months, you know, or maybe 10 months or thereabouts. In fact, yeah, 12 months until the elections themselves happen. We're gonna get a lot of back and forth between um, these two brothers, you know, you know, and I, and I think. And I call them brothers because it's very, very important for Nigerians to note that there really isn't much of a difference between these two parties. You know, I mean, uh, with all due apologies uh, <laughs> to my brother, you know, and my co-panelist, you know, there, there really isn't much of a difference. The PDP and the APC are peopled by the same characters who have run this country down even if you want to be charitable and start from this democracy from 1999, you know, it's the same characters. They just swap parties, they swap platforms as it suits their personal interests at that moment, right? And then if you want to go beyond 1999, it's still the same characters. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, yes, I agree with a lot of the stuff that the PDP have said, you know, much of it is rooted in fact. It's a fact that the Nigerian economy is, um, is in dire straits, or in dire waters. You know, exchange rates wise, inflation wise, um, you know, just name it interest rate, um, the productive sector, manufacturing. You know, let's not forget the crisis that we're experiencing now with, uh, you know, petroleum products and all that. We know that there is a, there is, there is a, uh, um, a global um, incident that is pouring or that is behind that. But look beyond that. I mean, the Nigerian economy is not in, in, in good shape. Nigerians are not in good shape. Um, um, you don't need to be reminded how the middle class, anybody that can afford an immigration um, plan now, is leaving the country, you know, in, in droves. It's, 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 it's terrible, right? And that obviously is driven by the fact that the system is simply not working for the people they should be working for. The only people that are still staying behind are people that can't afford to leave, you know. So, yes, what the PDP is saying is, is, is not too far from the truth. But my problem is what their motive is, you know. The motive is their motive to get the country to work. Is their motive to get the APC to do better. Or is their motive to um, um, create the impression that suits their own agenda so that they can also get back into power and continue the sham. You know, what we have as governance in Nigeria right now is a sham, you know, and it wasn't better under the PDP before this government came, and it's not any better now in spite of all the promises that this government made that, that gave so many people so much hope. You know, it's been such a huge disappointment for those that vested so much hope in, in, in the APC, you know, but, but I think what has become very clear and very obvious to those that choose to be deliberately um, um, independent of thought is that there is no difference between these two these, okay. these two parties. So I okay. call them APDPC. Fantastic. <laughs> you know because yeah. you know it's, it's just the same group of people. Yeah. Uh, 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 Dimeji, are you yeah. there? Okay, he's there. Uh, um, Dimeji, uh, uh, you've listened to your 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 brother, your counterpart, um, uh, Chopiton. He he's say, simply saying, in other words, um, that the PDP's cry is simply a case of a uh, uh, kettle calling pot black. Uh, what do you say to this? Well, that's not true as far as um, I am concerned, and I know as far as some Nigerians are concerned. During PDP time, there were appreciable achievements that that government of PDP made, and I am here to see the uh, those appreciable uh, um, achievements of this uh, of current government. And I can tell you how much was dollar to naira during PDP time. How much was a bag of rice? How much? How much was a petroleum pump price at that time? What, what was um, the foreign direct investment he, he, at that you know, time? Uh, uh, he agrees with all of this. He's just questioning your motive. No, 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 and just, he's I'm saying that, to, uh, that you, you are the same, is what he's saying. That's exactly what I'm telling you, that we're not the same. It's not the same. You may, yeah, we may have some actors who move from one party to the other, but the, 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 the programs of the go both governments are not the same. How many people were being killed on daily basis during PDP time? Did we see where, did we see where people were being slaughtered on daily basis, as we are seeing now, what was the level of insecurity during the PDP time? And now we can continue on like, like that. 
even the pro corruption profile on that on you know let, let's let's balance them within the both, both government so the truth of the matter is that i am I'm, I'm not i don't believe that well, you, you talked up, you talked about yeah. corruption you talked about corruption profile um uh Demeji fabi um and you were yeah. saying we should balance the corruption profile of the pdp side by side mm. with the corruption profile of the apc mm. so <laughs> who is more corrupt APC is more corrupt. How many people were tried under APC? Do you know how okay. many people were minister? So, 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 yes, please Listen, go on. My brother, go on. Let's do this. A Senate president of this country yeah. was almost sent to jail for corruption, I mean, under PDP. How many high ranking government officials of APC has gone to jail? How many? So, let us, so let, let us be honest with ourselves. What PDP is simply saying, is that look, Nigerians, you're not having, you're not getting a better deal on that discount. Okay, so so and, yeah. So are you are you, are you are you saying that the PDP in the 16 years uh, that it, it ruled Nigeria was not as corrupt as APC? So is it now we're we corrupt, 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 but we're not as corrupt as them? Is that what you're saying? So corruption lives today. Corruption yes. lives in the presidency. Lives in the villa. We know Nigerians know. Uh, is, not it, what, was was it not there under the People's Democratic Party? Uh, then give it, oh, then, then because I we have like we have we have cases to show. I mean, I'm sure I'm mind, sure I'm sure, sure if you open like your I case said, for your party's case file, you would see that it's full. Should we go? Should we should we start? Like Dimeji. I told you, um, like I told you, bring it up. Do you understand? Should we bring talk about up. Dasuki Gate? <laughs> should we talk about <laughs> the Deziani case? Should I go on? So so I mean, no. are you saying that the, the the PDP is corrupt but not as corrupt as the APC? I ask you again. I am just telling you that the corruption under APC is quite monumental, and they are there for people, for desired people want to know. So, for me not to dwell too much on that, let me tell you this: um, um, Nigeria now, everybody knows that the precipice, and we got to this point because we don't have a leadership that is ready to frontally, at, I mean, address issues. PDP raised the issue of NSAS. As if properly addressed, where Nigerian youths were maimed, killed, and all that. The rest is history today. This is not what we are talking about. What, what, did, so the, what, the, what, what did the People's Democratic Party do in its time to end police brutality? Can you tell us, please? In 16 the years. The, the should I, should I give brother. you the cases of police brutality let me, let, let me before you. 2015? Police, you want me to give that to you? My brother, police brutality has always been. It's not only in Nigeria. What did the PDP do it's in its in its 16 PDP years to, well. to end police PDP, brutality? Sir. PDP, PDP did quite well by trying some police officers who were engaged in brutality. I cannot here be telling you the details of it, but we know But how many compared to what is happening, the brutality under the APC government. This is the reality. The facts are there. You are a journalist. Go and get your facts and bring it, to, bring it up. All right. You know, let, 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 let's go to she, Shegun Shopiton. Um, yeah. Shegun, I, I, do you think that the People's Democratic Party has a moral right to refer to the NSAS protests um, and, and, and talk about police brutality and use that as a yardstick you know, to, to further its own, its own political point, what they're trying to say. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you know, I mean, so, so the, the, I, I'm, I'm a believer in the freedom of speech. Freedom of expression is guaranteed for everybody. Um, and, 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 you know, under normal circumstances, right, I, one would have been happy to have um, a, another voice, you know, an opposition voice that is robust, vibrant, you know, um, and, and articulate. Um, and, you know, the PDP has tried in, in, to varying degrees of success to provide that voice in the past. You know, so uh, some people would argue that, you know, let's focus on the message and leave the messenger for a second. So if, if, we, if we look at that, then I would say, oh, well, maybe they don't have a moral right, actually, you know, because they were no better. I mean, this, this police brutality issue that we're talking about, just like you rightly said, didn't start you know, it didn't start last year. It didn't start with NSAS. It, it, it's been with us for a long time. So again, let's start from 1999. So what measures uh, did, the, did the PDP government put in place um, to improve the very obvious? You know, the issues of the police are obvious. Um, if you underpay a man, you are paying him such an amount that is inadequate to take care of his basic, just basic needs, and then you give him a gun. It is an inevitability that he will use that gun 
to further his own personal interest. It's, it's just logic. It's human interest and human nature. You know, so what did the PDP do, you know, in, in its 16 years in power at the federal level? Remember that the police is a federal agency directly controlled by the presidency and by the, you know, the federal government. So what did the police, um, you know, the PDP do in those 16 years to, to get the police to be better equipped, to be better funded, to be better paid, to be better personnel with better quality human beings, educated people that think well, to be better, you know, to, to, to be better exposed to modern um, uh, policing uh, um, uh, 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 te techniques. What did they do? We all know the answer. Nothing, right? So if you want to talk about the moral rights of the PDP, they don't have it. But that's not to say that, you know, they don't, they, they can't speak to the issues that are, that, you know, that are obvious and confronting us as a country today. Um, having said that, uh, Kofi, I, I, I would like to say, and this is more to Nigerians than to anybody else, that um, if come 2023, right, um, it's very, very, very likely that it will be one of these two parties that will produce your next president and that will populate the National Assemblies and the government houses across the states and the state houses of assembly. And on the strength of the evidence of the last 20, 20, 23 years, nothing is going to change. I think we need to get this message and get it loud. Nothing is going to change in 2023, regardless. Whether it's Atiku, whether it's Tinubu, whether it's APC, whether it's PDP, nothing is going to change if these guys are the ones that emerge in 2023. So what do we need to do? As Nigerians, we have to come together to rally and mobilize um, the, the, what um, um, Madam Obiez Ekwesili called um, the dormant voter base. We have a population of about 50 million voters that never participate, and I think they're even more than that, that don't participate in the voting, the electoral process, because they don't believe in it. They believe that it's all rigged and it's all a waste of time. I'm saying to Nigerians that we've got to wake up and realize, smell the coffee, and realize that these guys that have been driving this boat or this ship or this car have been driving us in the wrong direction consistently for the last 23 years. And it's not going to change. Okay. So can we find a way to get an alternative platform to get alternative people? For goodness sake, we've got quality minds. Quality, right. top All quality right. minds, you know, buying and sorry, sorry, Kofi, you know, buying, buying and offering themselves across the various government platforms. Can we find a way to get them into office and kick these guys out? Kick out right. the APC, kick out the PDP. Enough. We, we have to go. A final word from you, uh, Demeji Fabi. I uh, would have loved to ask you if the uh, Nigerians uh, should come out and protest against the government. What should they do uh, against state governments, including PDP states, uh, who are owing you mongers amounts in debt? You know, I don't. I don't have time to go into that. So, final word from you. Well, thank you very much. I think uh, Nigerians deserve a very a better deal, and for them to get that, PDP has made mistakes and they have realized those mistakes. Another chance for PDP will give Nigeria what they've always desired. I'm so sure about that. Nigeria needs a unifier at this point because the country is in a bad shape. And that's where people like Atiku, that is, the man said cannot do it, comes in. Uh, with his experience, with his... Uh, Th his thank capacity. you very much. We're, we're out of time. Dimeji Fami is a member you, of the you, People's Democratic Party. Shegu Shopito is a political and he's gentleman. I'm oh, sorry, because of time, we have to pull the plugs up. But I want to thank you very much for giving us a very robust uh, uh, conversation. Thank you, Dimeji and uh, Shegu. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so plus politics. Uh, before we say goodbye, let's um, uh, quickly uh, run you through our... Vox Pop segment, of course, uh, we round up today's show with Nigerians telling us their thoughts as regards the People's Democratic Party and their ability to rule. I'm Kofi Patels, Plus Politics returns tomorrow. Good night. By the grace of God, this country is for Nigeria, and uh, I believe anybody saying he will develop this country is a Baba talk. Personally, my opinion is that God is the only one that can put somebody that will make this country to be a... Promises have been made several times. And I believe, well, we don't have anybody to say, actually, this is the person that will make the... that will be the God sent. But let's give any person a trial. Because with a trial, it may even work out.
No, it far reminds that um, it's not all about the party. It's all about uh, a person and uh, his own personality. So, unlike me, I don't vote party, but I vote uh, people's personality. So, whosoever that wants to come in, maybe as a PDP, and if he believes that it will not fail Nigerians, he can, he can come in. There's no problem about that. And what the masses need is for them to give us a good result. We've given APC eight years and for me as a youth, there is nothing tangible that they've done. So let's try PDP. Or if possible, let's try any other party who can actually spring up with someone new. Let's try up new things. For me personally, I would say let's try up new things because we are tired of these old men we've been seeing since 1999. So let's try up new guys. <laughs> ah, to me, it, I, I, I believe in God choosing president for us. It is only who God chooses that can develop this country, not uh, has anything to do whether PDP or APC. Even in another party, let the person be God choosing candidate. I think that is the best thing for us in this country.